Welcome to Boulder Junction, a vibrant, exciting, and collaboratively planned redevelopment area covering approximately 160 acres on the city of Boulder's east side. The project's initial phase includes private redevelopment like the Depot Square project with 71 permanently affordable housing units, the underground RTD transit facility, a 150-room Hyatt Place Hotel with shared parking involving the Boulder Junction Access District, the Roadhouse Restaurant built inside the renovated 1890 Boulder JCS Depot, and Solana 3100 Pearl Apartments, a separate 319-unit complex with ground floor retail. But how did this development come to be? The answer to that question takes us back nearly two decades. In keeping with the city's vision of a comprehensive, accessible transportation system and recognizing the need to further connect areas of the community, city leaders requested RTD change its transit development plan. The concept was to provide convenient access to amenities, giving residents the option to live, work, and play in a pedestrian-friendly neighborhood, limiting the need for personal vehicles. There was a decision made in prior councils to let's plan something rather than have it happen um, ad hoc or haphazardly. So it was something on the order of about a five-year effort to come up with the Transit Village Area Plan. And there were some new zoning areas that were added that complied with the vision of it being the first um, transit-oriented development in the city of Boulder. My involvement with the Boulder Junction project dates back to my early days after leaving the city of Boulder where I was involved in transportation issues when we were addressing this issue on the transportation board for the city of Boulder. I was there for five years as we were doing some initial discussions around regional transportation and how important that was for our community's um, evolution. And then I had the opportunity to serve this community on the RTD board where we were able to direct resources toward a much more vital uh, facility for that regional transit center at Boulder Junction uh, well beyond what was initially a, uh, designed as a parking lot by RTD. So now we um, are able to see the benefits of that, uh, which I enjoy as now Boulder Chamber President, to see not only a commercial district for our community, but also a mix of residential uh, and retail opportunities, all there together in a very efficient um, and I think very enjoyable and, and attractive region of our community. Through a site selection process, the site at the northeast corner of 30th Street and Pearl Parkway, then owned by Pollard Friendly Motor Company, was identified as the preferred location for a transit-oriented development. In 2004, the city and RTD partnered to purchase this site, initially naming it Boulder Transit Village and later renaming it Boulder Junction. There's a tremendously convenient access um, to the bus rapid transit service. And then of course, in the longer term, it's proximity to the rail that is planned to come in the future. So I think that was the core of the multimodal strategy, but then it really was creating that physical environment that was very pedestrian friendly. And while cars can function in that area, they're not the predominant mode. And so I think that's what was really exciting to experiment with some new approaches, both on the infrastructure but also programmatically. The ongoing transformation of Boulder Junction is guided by the community vision expressed in the 2007 Transit Village Area Plan. As the first area plan to integrate land use with transportation and transportation demand management TDM, from the start, the premise was to maintain future vehicle trips at the level of existing zoning. Parking management was the foundation of the TDM program. Overall, the intent was to create a livable, pedestrian-oriented place with a variety of housing types and more than 20% affordable housing, supported by transit and high-quality and urban-configured community design. What I think makes Boulder Junction so special is it's a place for everybody in our community. Um, it's going to be a gathering place for community on special events, to get together with friends for entertainment. 
but it's also a place where commerce is going to happen. We allow for businesses to develop there, uh, to have their employees live in vicinity or easily access that area so that for a business that wants to grow, that's a wonderful place for them to locate. And it allows for us to evolve as a community. The Transit Village Area Plan identified two phases of redevelopment and forecasted a 30-year time frame for the area to substantially redevelop. The first phase of redevelopment, anticipated to occur within the first 15 years of the plan, are primarily west of the BNSF railroad tracks and is continuing with development of a few parcels complete, some currently being considered in land use reviews, and others pending redevelopment in the future. This is a very new neighborhood. We're literally creating a new neighborhood where one did not exist before. When I say neighborhood, I'm talking about a place where uh, the future generation could actually call home and raise their kids, uh, go to school or work. This is going to be a very uh, successful neighborhood as it relates to your daily activities. So it's within walking distance of almost everything you need on a daily basis. But it's also a place that you want to be. It's a destination eventually, uh, that great plaza, great uh, public place. When you create a new neighborhood, you have to look at the long term. Uh, generally, you know, we look at something new and we always get concerned because what we see, we, we don't see what's not there yet. This is not complete yet. There's significant amount of uh, activities and programs and shops and other things that would come here. The trees are not mature yet. So when they start maturing and things uh, take hold, that's when transformation takes place. It's interesting, one of the things I do is I work with people with disabilities accessing public transit and um, I've been working with some folks that are just to the north of Boulder Junction that have lived here for a while and when I tell them that they now have access to buses to downtown Denver by just walking they're just so surprised and amazed and excited. Phase two areas east of the railroad tracks are anticipated to be redeveloped during the latter 15 to 30 years. As part of the TVAP implementation plan, several key public infrastructure projects were completed in this first phase of Boulder Junction redevelopment, including a traffic signal at Pearl Parkway and Junction Place, undergrounding of overhead utilities along Pearl Parkway, the Pearl Parkway Multiway Boulevard, the Pearl Parkway Multi-Use Path, and the Junction Place Bridge at Goose Creek. From an implementation standpoint, the TVAP implementation plan identified a funding strategy to reinvest some of the excise taxes and construction use taxes that were collected as part of private development in the area to then fund some of these key public improvements that were necessary to create that fine grid of transportation infrastructure. The most significant challenges to overcome were the fact that all of the uh, private development projects are being built with no setback from property lines. Then we have all of these public projects that we're building right up to the faces of buildings. And so there was a significant amount of effort and coordination with all the private development projects and public projects. The primary objective of the Pearl Parkway Multiway Boulevard is to transform the public realm of a former auto-oriented industrial site into a complete street, an ideal place to live, work, and play. It was our first large-scale implementation of permeable pavements in the city. All of the parking areas along Pearl Parkway as well as along New Junction Place are all permeable pavements with uh, interlocking pavers on the top and so um, some significant water quality and environmental benefits uh, as part of implement, implementing that. Boulder Junction was also the city's first city-owned and operated LED street lighting system. Basically the um, reduction in energy usage of about 50 percent compared to standard um, light fixtures that are on the uh, current street lighting system. We recycled all of the removed materials, both concrete, asphalt, as well as some of the excavation materials, and recycled that into 10,000 cubic yards of aggregate base course that became the base materials for all the new roadway pavements out there. 
as well as some of the structure backfill that was um, completed on the project. Other exciting amenities include a free annual RTD EcoPass for all employees and residents of Boulder Junction with property taxes collected through a general improvement district, the Boulder Junction TDM Access District. This provides unlimited access to bus and light rail as well as an Ego car sharing membership and access to B-Cycle bike sharing. The incorporation of artwork and the historic depot is a key feature of Boulder Junction with the commission and installation of public art pieces. The depot move um, to that site was a, a core organizing principle and when the bus station came and the whole depot square, that de the um, old train depot that came from downtown is a centerpiece. It's like a jewel sitting in the center of Boulder Junction. There was a public art that we integrated into the Junction Place Bridge at Goose Creek, which is located directly adjacent to the historic depot that Molly mentioned. And, you know, so that even that piece of infrastructure, the architecture for the bridge, colors, materials, we're all keyed into um, the historic depot and being very complimentary and respectful of that historic facility. As part of the depot square private development, RTD had solicited and secured a, a public art project as part of that project as well. In August 2015, RTD's new Boulder Junction at Depot Square Station opened for service. In 2016, Boulder Junction also provides a central Boulder hub for such services as RTD's Flatiron Flyer Bus Rapid Transit and Transport's new Flex Transit service to Fort Collins. While the Boulder Junction project has already achieved many of its established goals, this is not the end. This is kind of the beginning of the transformation of the eastern part of the city. There has been for years a talk about the two sides of Boulder, the part of the city that we love and people have an image of are the more walkable, connected uh, places west of generally 28th Street or Folsom. These are the Pearl Street Mall or the neighborhoods west of um, Boulder. This area weaves um, those uh, disjointed places into a more cohesive place um, similar to what citizens in the past have done to the western part of the city. The Boulder Junction project began with a modern vision for mindful, mixed-use redevelopment that provides community connection for living, working, recreating, gathering, and traveling. Boulder Junction was implemented by the city, its partners, and the Boulder community with the intention of creating and sustaining a central urban hub that is as functional as it is special. And the future is bright for Boulder Junction, with new upcoming amenities and projects planned that undoubtedly will contribute to the environmental, economic, and social fabric of our community for many years to come.